Hello, my name is Adrian Newey. I'm Chief Technical Officer of Red Bull Racing. Our relationship with FLIR starts in 2013 uh, with their small thermal cameras. And it proved very useful actually in 2013 straight away because we were able to use the camera to visualise the direction the exhaust flow was taking and manipulate the exhaust flow into a particular area around the rear tyre. Difficult and complicated area, we've done a lot of work in CFD on it, but we needed a way of visualising what was actually happening on the car. And the FLIR camera was tremendously useful in, that, in, in those endeavours. FLIR has always been tremendously helpful in, in everything we've tried to develop, not just for that, but in other areas of the car, looking at tyre temperatures, other bits and pieces, exhaust temperatures, underbody temperatures and so forth. More recently, I was approached by a friend who works at the Galman Memorial Trust and runs a conservancy in Kenya. They employ locally sourced rangers um, who are armed, they have to be, because of the dangers involved, and take on the huge challenge of protecting against the poachers who are increasingly well organised, well armed, and, and obviously a huge threat to the animals and to the rangers that then have to go against them. Many of those animals are poached at night and at that point it becomes very difficult to see what the poachers are doing. Even more dangerous to attempt to track them. As I say, they're very well organised and it, it can become an extremely dangerous fight where there are instances where rangers have certainly been shot at and indeed shot for their own safety and for their efficiency if they could have some night vision goggles. We approached FLIR again and after a bit of discussion, which really I thought would be, can we have some old second-hand ones? Here you are, have these with our compliments. And done such a charitable thing, it says volumes for the way the company is.